appreciate you dropping by the channel. I have a new member to introduce you to today of the LAF Space Film Fest family humming right up. That's right, it's a 2004 Pontiac Montana. May not be a minivan. When you're a YouTube creator and you have your channel and you're trying to put out best material you can, especially in the genre that I run in, which is travel, a lot of travel. You gotta have a good workhorse. You gotta have a vehicle that's gonna take you there and get you back. That's why I'd like to introduce you to the 2004 Pontiac Montana. Now I can hear a lot of folks right now saying, come on, Mr. Lawrence, a 2004 Pontiac Montana? Why'd you go out and buy your 2021 Dodge Caravan? Well, I have my reasons for buying this 2004 Pontiac Montana. And in my mind, the reasons work out just right. In the business of being a YouTube creator, you gotta go places. You gotta get out there and you gotta film. You gotta be able to spend the night and maybe, especially with the COVID-19 going on and the virus still crazy in America right now, it's nice to have some place to stay. This way here, I am totally and completely self-contained. Except for gasoline, man, I can travel around, stay where I want to stay. I'm going to fix it up, customize it. It's going to be a nice little... 2004 does have 130,000 miles. All the research I've done on them, these Montanas, there's all kind of stories of them going way over 200,000. 250,000, three over 300,000 miles. They're a pretty good little work. Now this machine didn't come without problems and I've already fixed a few. So what I'm gonna do is I'll probably end up splitting this video into segments, slicing it up and putting a few repairs out there because that's another thing that I have learned. When it comes to repairs, if you have something to be fixed, somebody on YouTube has the answer. That's how I fix a lot of things around here. I mean, I know how to do a lot of things, can't figure it out like the couple things I'm getting ready to do on this minivan right here I am going to oh wait a minute did I say minivan maybe it's not a minivan I say that about maybe it's not a minivan because if you go on Google search 2004 original commercials on the Pontiac Montana they are hilarious <laughs> they, they are some of the best commercials I've ever seen by the channel it is a cold dreary rainy day January 28th, but you know, hey, it's winter time, right? What's amazing is spring 60 days out. 60, 65, 70 more days, and we're gonna get into spring. The grass is gonna grow, the flowers are gonna start popping up. Hopefully we'll have this virus under control. Here's kind of a little story about it that I called the dealership. The finance guy didn't know if he was going to be able to give me financing or not because it's a late model vehicle. Well, I guess it'd be an early model vehicle. It's got a lot of years on it. The vehicle has a lot of years on it. He said he would call me right back. So he calls me back. He talked to his bank and said, well, we think we can go ahead and do a loan for you if you want. But he said, the problem is, he said, the only way they're going to do it is if you got really good credit. So he goes, I just don't think that that's going to be a starter. Yeah, okay. I know why he said it. I mean, why is this cat coming in here buying a 2004 Pontiac Montana when if he's got good credit, he could buy a 2021, right? Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of reasoning to all that. I like to keep my bills down. I like to keep my bills down. I like to That way it gives me the freedom to get out and travel and provide you with excellent entertainment. He called me back and said, uh, Mr. Lawrence, um, uh, hey, you got good credit and uh, this will be no problem. And I said, well, thank you, sir. I appreciate you telling me that. Here's the thing about credit. If your credit is not good, hang in there. 
work hard, and you can restore it. That's what it takes. Pay your phone bill, pay your rent bill, pay your gas bill, whatever it comes in the mail, make sure you stay all paid up, and it's just like a stepping ladder. It'll go up and up and up and up. And it might take a decade. If your credit is trash now, it may take a decade, but stay with it and don't slip. Don't miss any bills at all. Don't get behind because all that little stuff like that will ding you. Stay with it. Eventually, before you know it, that finance guy will be calling you back and saying, well, congratulations, you got good credit. So stay with it. It's like quit smoking. If you quit smoking, your lungs start to regenerate themselves instant. Day one, day two, day three, they start to get better. If you're smoking, quit smoking. Your lungs are gonna get better. If your credit's bad, be sure to pay everything and your credit will get better. Okay, back to my new workhorse. You can see I've already removed all the seats because my plan is to put a little floor in it, carpet in it, probably build some kind of a bed system in it that can be taken apart, put back together. And what I want to be able to do is when I'm on the road, getting late at night, I want to be able to pull over. And a little bit of a secret, Walmart parking lots are pretty nice. Probably unofficially, they don't mind. There's always cameras everywhere. And I noticed the last time on my way up to northern Michigan, I stopped in Grayling. Pulled into Walmart right there. It was a cold, dark night. Started raining. All I needed was to get a night's sleep. Pulled in there. What I noticed the next morning when I fired the vehicle up to leave, I bet there were two dozen other people scattered out through this big parking lot that were doing the same thing. So if you happen to do that, just be cool, take care of it, go in, get your supplies, show them you appreciate it. Pretty nice little system. That's what this van's gonna do for me. Campgrounds, Walmarts, wherever I end up on my travels, this is where I'm gonna be able to stay. So I'll post some of those videos of some of the things that I'm doing. The instrument cluster panel, I fixed one of the sliding doors, replace the headlights in it, all kind of things I want to do to get it on the road. So when I get it on the road, it'll be nice and safe. It'll get me there and get me back. That's real important. It's in pretty good shape. A couple other things I like about the 2004 Pontiac Montana is that it is stealth. Who notices a Pontiac 2004 Montana driving down the road? It just goes on by like a ghost. And that's important when you film. You pull into areas, you don't want to disrupt the normality of what's going on. So you can pull in, you can do some filming, people just act like they normally do, nobody gets nervous, you get some really good film footage that way. Yeah, the old 2004 Pontiac Montana. To be 16 years old, it's a good deal. Pretty clean machine, somebody took good care of it. Well, that's what I like. Gonna continue to fix it up. Hope it turns out to be a good vehicle. I really appreciate you coming to the channel. That's LAF Space Film Fest. Capital LAF Space Film Fest. Here's to a good journey. A nice investment in the company here. I'm back here in my office right now. I hope you're having a good day today. And I do appreciate you coming to the channel. It's gonna get cold. This second week in February, even in southern Indiana, 16 for a high, low is going to be 11 degrees. Okay, I got some videos to produce. Get them out so you can see them. Have a good day.